anyway, um, we're gonna we're gonna get started. Um, this is this this session here tonight is a follow-on to the one that we held two weeks ago. Um, two of the wines here are gonna be from the same regions that we tasted last time. The first one is we're gonna do from Germany. Uh, it's from the area of Baden, and as we talked about last time, it's in the southwest uh, portion of uh, that wine region, right across the Rhine River from Alsace. Uh, in German, it's called Spätburgunder. Spätburgunder? Yeah, which is which is their their name for Pinot Noir. Uh, coming here to the United States, you'll see you'll see Pinot Noir in the label a lot. Um, in fact, coming from other countries, you'll see uh, France and, and uh, Italy uh, and even Spain now. You'll, you're starting to see a lot more of the great varieties on the label, yeah. and, they, and they do that for us. Yeah. Uh, the second wine is going to be from Burgundy in France. Last week, uh, last time we tasted uh, Ellen's wine, this time we have a, another producer. And the third wine is going to be different um, this week. Uh, we're, gonna, we're going down to New Zealand. Cool. And you remember we said that the two the two main areas of, of Pinot Noir, one was Martinborough, which is the south, the, the southern part of the North Island, and the other, which is uh, even producing better Pinot Noirs, the Central Otago, which is down two thirds of the way down or so in the south of in the South Island. Uh, if, if from what Kat tells me, it's it's, it's the um, southernmost wine producing region in the world. Uh, nice and cool uh, and they're doing wonderful things with Pinot Noir. We'll see how this shapes up uh, tonight. We think we've put them in the right order and I guess once we taste it we'll uh, we'll see. I never thought of it. It's, it's, it's more south than Tasmania, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. The only ones that would rival it would be what the, the Stellenbach and, and stuff in South Africa. <clears throat> And, and the end of Ch and the tip of Chile. I mean, I, I, well, yeah, Chile. Chile is more and more moving south with their vineyards, but uh, this is a. I mean, this is a class act area. Pinot in the South Okay, this one here. The producer is Obert Um and like we said, it's in it's in uh, it's in Baden. So again, the first thing that we do when we see now, do you remember? See now, it'll be a nice test for you. <laughs> okay, because do we remember what the last one tasted like? Yeah. Remember that palette? I kind of do. Meal? Okay, it was lighter. Yeah. Um, tasted really good. I think half, I think half of everybody liked that one. The best of the, uh, the, the some of the folks liked that. No, <laughs> they didn't in here. Okay. Uh, you like it? But it was the light. Two were better. But it, the other two, right? Yeah. Okay. It was okay. good, but the other. So two now were we'll see. We'll see how this matches up. Let again. Let's again. Let's take a look at the color. This is 2005. Uh, the other one, I think, was probably 2006. Yeah. I'm looking at this now. What do you notice on here? It's like more maroonish type. It's deal. like more maroonish, and look at that rim. Look at that rim. It's almost. It's kind of orangey, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now, you know, Peter Noir will turn that. We'll turn that color with with age, and this is now four and a half years old. Uh, so we'll see whether or not that is indicative of anything. But if you hold it against the print, you can read right through it. Right. So we know that it's clear. So we know that at least it's been handled. It's been handled properly. So let's smell now. What kind of aromas? I get strawberry jam. Strawberry jam. Okay. Anything else? And again, don't expect. And what will be interesting to, to see tonight uh, is what is is the intensity of the aromas on the first two wines versus the third one. Two being made in the first two being made in old world countries, the third one being made in a new world country where we expect that forward fruit. Let's see whether or not that holds true tonight. Okay, let's taste. Do we have? Are you here for class? Yes. Wow. That is certainly different than the last one. Yeah. Certainly different than the last one. What kind of flavors do you get? 
Hi guys, how you doing? Hi Come on over and join the crowd. Get closer. Good. And you guys have, you guys, you guys have been here before? No. Oh, no, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what kind of? What the smell is just overpowering me. Like I keep smell every time I smell it. It just that's I want to feel like that's what I'm tasting, but that isn't what I'm tasting. Okay, what are you tasting? Okay, my first. I got a burst of raspberry. Did you? In here. Okay. The 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 the, the other folks who've tasted this taste pomegranate. But, oh, okay. but but I, 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 I can get pomegranate. But I don't I, I don't think I've ever tasted pomegranate, so I, I, I don't uh, I don't know. But if that's what pomegranate tastes like, maybe I won't try. It's very tart. It is tart at the end. Um, okay, let's just catch you up for a second. We had a class two weeks ago on on Pinot Noir, um, and this is a follow-on to that. We got three wines tonight. The first one is from Germany, from the area of Baden. Very, very close across the border, across the Rhine River from uh, Alsace in France. A little, it, it's pretty far, pretty far north. Um, and then we'll talk about the others as we uh, as we taste. Again, the first thing that we ever want to do when we taste the wine is to look at it. So you want to you want to hold it. That's what, why don't you why, why don't you come on over here where there's a little bit more light? There you go. That's a lot. That's a lot better. And hold it against the white background. <laughs> And let the light come bouncing back through the uh, through the wines. You want to make sure that it's clear. Okay. Now, do you see that little orange, that little orange rim on it? Mm -hmm. uh, we think that's age. Okay. We think that's age that's doing that. Where do you taste it, and we'll find out. Next thing we do is smell it. And what we're trying to do is to figure out what flavors they are. Now, have you guys had Pinot Noir before? <clears throat> okay. So you know what Pinot Noir is supposed to taste like. Okay. All of these should have a little thread. Of Pinot Noir through them. Um, now we let's let's taste it, and then we'll catch up with uh, with the other two. What kind of flavors do you get on that? And what what what, what kind of sensation in your mouth is it? Uh, the, a, little, a little sour, a little tart. A little yeah. tart. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you discern any flavors? Something fruit. Fruit. Like fruit okay, and that's fine. Yeah. And that's fine. Um, we we talked here before. We uh, what you. <laughs> You said you, you said strawberry, strawberry jam. jam. When right. I smell it, not when I taste okay. it. Okay, okay. I tasted ras I tasted raspberry, and again, like I said, it, it sounds like it sounds like pomegranate maybe, maybe in there too. Um, one of the things we did notice was that the finish was pretty tart. Um, and we and we noticed now, um, when it goes in your mouth, do we taste any sweetness at all? Okay. I didn't taste any sweetness. I didn't taste any sweetness at all. If the wine had any sugar in it at all, you would taste it right up front in your mouth. Okay? That fruit flavor that you tasted started a little bit a little bit further back on your tongue. Okay, and that indicates to us that the wine is not sweet but very fruity. Um that was very light. It is light, but it's not as light. It's not as light as the. It's not as light as the one we had two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. yeah. Last time. Right, it was really, it was really pretty light. We didn't get that burst of. We didn't get that burst of fruit. No. Um, mostly acidity. Got, yeah, that's right. See, now it's an interesting thought. If a wine, if a wine is is high in acidity, or as we say, it has crisp acidity, you'll notice a tingly sensation along the sides of your tongue. Okay, do you get that on here? No. Not so much. Not so much. Get you get in the middle, you get a little you get a little bit you get a little bit of it. I suspect that what's happening is is that burst of fruit in there is hiding some of that. The one we tasted two weeks ago seemed to be seemed to have more acidity to it, uh, but I suspect that that was because it had less fruit to kind of balance it. Um, yeah, uh, we talked about tannins. Tannin is that little effect that dries your mouth out. Uh, makes it feel like somebody stuffed a, a towel in your mouth and, and, and wiped it clean. Uh, and I don't get I don't get much of that. The way it affects me is kind of a puckery sensation, like when you're drinking a brand new Cabernet, a brand new Zin, uh, and stuff because it really really tends to dry your mouth out. Uh, I don't get any in fact I don't get any noticeable tannins on.